Hi everybody, Ben here from Artless Ordinary. So I've got my big canvas again. So I'm going to do another ghost swipe um, on my big canvas. This I really love these and I want to have a few so I get to pick and choose what one I want to have up in the house. Um, so that is my plan. This time I wanted to do a yellow one, but yellow on white isn't going to be so um, dramatic or bold. So I decided to do sunset colors. So I have cadmium yellow medium, which is an opaque yellow. Um, hope you can see that in the camera. Then I have, and I don't know how to pronounce this one. Ah. Uh, Armalide yellow. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Armalide yellow, which is semi-transparent, which is, so that is the cadmium yellow. That is the armalide yellow. Then I have cadmium orange, which is an opaque. So I find I get better lacing with opaques than I do with transparents, but I like to mix some transparents in there. And I couldn't find the other red that I wanted to use, so I am going with um, cadmium red medium, which is another opaque, which is this one. So four nice warm sunset colours, and my last one, the metallic, is pewter. So I thought the pewter would look a little bit more better than the silver, um, and I didn't really want to have a gold in there. I'm not... I don't mind gold, but I'm not the biggest fan of it. I like the silvers better. They kind of suit, they suit me better. So all of these are four grams paint and uh, for a 12 grams flow troll. So one part paint, three parts flow troll. Then I have my white, which is just my Eraldo Di Polo um, white. And that is four parts flow troll to one part paint. So I have three cups made up. Each cup has got 35 grams paint and 140 grams flow troll. So it's thinnish, but it's not overly thin, but it's thin, quite thin. So I have three cups of that. I'll probably only end up using between two and two and a half cups, but I'd rather make up extra than not make up enough. So I'm going to put all these colors aside. I'm going to put these aside and then I'm going to cover the canvas in the white off camera and then I'll come back. So I will be pausing it while I do that. And we're back. Oh, God. So, I only ended up using two of my cups. So, what I do is I put it on the canvas. I spread it around with my paint knife. And then, after I've done that, I tilt it. So, I tilt it over every corner so it runs over and makes all the edges nice and smooth and covered. And makes the surface relatively smooth. There's a couple of spots which may be a little bit not as completely even. But... You'll be there forever if you want to make it exactly even. So, what we will do is... Um, I'm going to put a dot, red dot down here. And a red dot here. Which that tells me where the middle of the canvas is. Because... You don't want to sway too much. You want to keep yourself pretty even over the whole canvas. That's still right. Okay, now, as I want this to, I wanted this to be more yellow, I'm going to go with the red at the bottom. So I'm going to go darkest to lightest, apart from the metallic, which I always put on the top. So... As where I always do, start off the canvas and keep pouring until you get off the canvas. So here we go. So 
So off the canvas to off the canvas. And see, I use hardly any paint. Now we will go the orange. Again, off the canvas. To off the canvas. Um, okay. Just trying to look at it, whether it looks like it's in the middle. Not exactly. So this one, off the canvas, it's a little bit more heavier with this colour, to off the canvas. I've got to go a little bit more higher on this side I think. So now for the yellow. And as you can see, it doesn't have to be completely even, but it is heavier over that end. So I am going to just add little bits here. Yeah, you usually always get heavy, heaviest. I don't know why, but it always starts off heavier and goes lighter. So I'm just going to add a couple of extra little bits and pieces with just drops, which. Just to even it out slightly. Okay, that's all I'm going to go. And now silver, or pewter, sorry, I should say. So stirring it really well. Oops, I'm doing this a little bit heavier than I normally would. Okay, <laughs> I didn't do the colours as even as I normally would, but that's okay. Try to keep them relatively even. So now I'm just putting all these aside. I'm just hoping it doesn't look heavy on that side and light on this side. I'm trying to keep it as even as I can. So now I have my swipe cards. And I have... Oops. My... Swipe paper. There we go. So what we need to do is go to the middle and swipe. When you do the edge bit, do it half off the canvas so you get the, the complete edge. So here we go. Swipe, then wipe. Back on. Swipe, then wipe.
and if you've seen me do these before you know that I some you lift different ways to try to get the paint to Some you want to go long, some you want to end short. Alright, that's getting a little bit floppy. See how it's bending? But then when you turn it around, don't hold it on the floppy end because it doesn't give it much grip. Hold it there and you you got a bit more control. Swipe and wipe. Try and keep your line relatively even. And it's just a matter of swiping, wiping your card, going to the next one. So these colors you can still see defined colours, but they are blending a little bit more than what my other ones do. It could be the cadmium red. See, I wanted an opaque red, but I couldn't actually find my opaque red that I wanted to use. I wanted to use Al Alazrian, or I don't actually know what it's called unless I read the bottle. But swipe and wipe. That card I'm going to stop using and I'm going to use a new one. My line is relatively even. Swipe, wipe. Just keep going all the way. When you get to the edge, try and do the same where you overlap partly off the edge. And I'm going to swipe the side just because I think it looks better than having just three or four drip lines running down the edge. There we go. Doesn't have to be perfect on the side, just so it's not a solid drip. Drip here and there, I find it's, it's too noticeable. So, that is how we go. This side is done. It's looking quite okay. I, was, I, was, I really wanted it to be a bit more yellowy, but I think... The issue with the yellow is, being on the white background, it was never going to be superstar yellow. But um, this is looking quite cool. I do think I am slightly further down this way. I think I should have been a bit more higher up. But we take things as we go. Now spin it without getting paint everywhere. Oops, don't hold your hands over the canvas. And I've got a hair that's dropped in there, so I've got to... Alright, so when I did the tilting, I got extra white paint fall off the edge. I'm just going to get a little bit and put it right there just where I touched it with, to get that bit of hair off. It will even itself out. So, now I'm on a new side. I'm just going to get rid of old paper towels, old swipe cards and start again. Don't skimp on 
trying to reuse your cards too much you're more likely to make a mess of it and now here we go new wipe and a new swipe and then we just go again trying to go roughly where you met before half off swipe and wipe and now we just want to keep going Turning my card around. And just keep swiping. This, this card I don't like. It's actually a little bit bent. That's better. It was going like that and I think it was making things a bit harder for me. There we go. Just try to keep my lines going a little bit wonky. It's not too bad. It tends to bleed into each other. But try to keep it relatively even if you can. And just keep swiping and wiping. Changing your card or turning it around whenever you feel you need to. Okay, see that little skip that happened? Right there. I want to go over that slightly. So just overlap it a little bit. And just go over that little skipped bit. I find it's better if it skips on the side that you that you you still to do. If it skipped on this side, I wouldn't try to fix it. I don't think it would work out in my favour. So swipe and lift. Swipe and lift. And now I'm just going to do the same on this side. Just give it a little swipe on this side. Just a little swipe. Okay. So I think I'm done here. So as you can see, the lacing is still coming through. I think, so what I have, one thing I have done, my line goes relatively the same spot, but as it gets here, it goes a little bit up in that spot there. Don't stress. This is art. It is not a print. If you want something to be perfect, then you do, you master it and then you rep, um, use a printer or photocopier to photocopy it. This is fluid art. It's supposed to be slightly different each time. And as these paints lace up and develop more in time, that, that becomes more uneven. It becomes a bit more um, <clears throat> not as defined. So this has actually turned out a little bit more different to what I was expecting. Maybe because I used more colours and maybe a little bit more paint because I added an extra colour in. Um, it's not, you can still see defined 
Red, 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 yellow, 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 yellow. You can still see defined lines. You can't see as much definition with the orange or with the um, that other yellow I couldn't pronounce. You can see a yellow and you can see a red. The other two kind of just look ready, ready, yellowy. Kind of got different blends in there. Um, you can see the pewter. The pewter is definitely showing up. You got here, 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 here. Kind of goes bits and pieces either side. Um, wonderful lacing. It is lacing up really, really well, as you can see. And that will develop more, um, probably half an hour, and you'll probably have the most you're going to get out of it. I am liking it, but I think I'm loving my green one a little bit better. I'm not really too sure what the difference is. I just think the green is just more appealing to me. But that's it. You don't always know till you try something. To go, you know what? I like these colours, but they're not exactly my, my favourite. But this is it. I'm, I'm still enjoying this. I think this is a pretty cool painting. I'm going to get rid of my swipe stuff. Did I use that one? Yep, I use that one. Get rid of all the old ones. You don't want to keep them. So, I am going to bring you down for a close-up. Okay, so, you just have to realise that with my lighting with the big canvas like this, this side looks grey, that side looks white. It's white all over. I just can't get the lighting right here. Not yet. i, I got to buy more equipment, but um, I just got to get bits and pieces in time. So, um yeah, the white doesn't change colour. It's just the shading of the everything. So as you can see, it's more white here. But look at that. I'm going to turn it this way. Look at all that beautiful lacing. You can see all the colours coming through. Like, look here. You can see pewter, yellow. There's even, like, little cells where you got, like, red rings with a white edge. Come down here, same, you got little orange specks in the red, and red in the orange, yellow in the pewter, so it does give you really, really cool effects, and it does change the way that it looks like, look at that red in that pewter there, isn't that awesome? So, turn my camera again, so this is it, this is... It's probably a little bit solid on that one spot. I probably could swipe that again just to see if I could break up that solid yellow a little bit. But go all the way along. But this is pretty good. This is a 40 centimeter by 80 centimeter canvas, which um, I can't see how many inches that is. But I hope everyone thinks this looks pretty cool. Um... I'm still going to do more. i got different colours in my mind. So I just do different ones at different times. Try not to do too many of them. Plus this takes up a lot of room to dry. So um, prevents me from doing as many paintings. So. Yeah. I hope we all think this looks pretty cool. Yeah. Let me see if I can do this swipe. While holding the camera. Mm. No, it hasn't really changed. It may get more lacing in it. So I'm, I'm not going to keep messing with it. I've learnt my lesson sometimes doing that. That doesn't matter. At least it starts off yellow and kind of goes red as it goes down. And you can see the lacing's developing in here. It will keep getting more and more lacing will come through as it settles. Yeah, you can see, where's my finger? I can't even see my finger on the camera. Oh, that's right, over here, there we go. These little specks, though, will just keep growing and uh, more will develop. So, but yeah. Awesome. Hope everyone enjoyed this. Hope everyone likes the colours. Let me know if you like the colours or if there's other colours you think I should try. 
I'm trying to make a bit of an assortment. I might do another blue one, but maybe light blues instead of heavy blue. So I like normal. Um, share, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you enjoyed this. Have a good night, everyone. And I'll see you tomorrow for another poll. All right, bye.